secured the bag and secured his future in San Francisco, signing a record-breaking deal to stay in the red and gold for the foreseeable future. Trent Williams, welcome back. You, you made us sweat <laughs> a little bit, but it's good to have you back. Uh, just a little bit, just a little bit, but you know, I, I was always gonna come back. Going back to that day, we saw a video that you posted on your Instagram story. It looked like a near immediate reaction after finally, you know, getting the, the overall deal done. But how does it feel to now have all of this behind you? <laughs> Man, it, it's like even when I even thought about how it would feel to get it all behind me, I didn't think of it feeling this good, you know. It's, it's been a long road, long trying road, a couple years where I basically had to just rebuild my character, rebuild my brand on the field and off the field. So uh, just to be on the other side of that and to see it all pay off, man, it's really gratifying. So you became the highest paid offensive lineman in NFL history, but you did that by kind of topping somebody by a smidge. Uh, was that like a necessary, like we have to have this, I gotta get there, how did that happen? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I wasn't really worried about it like that. To be in my 12th year, I'm almost losing count almost, but <laughs> <laughs> to be in my 12th season, get ready to turn 32 years old and still get a contract of that size, you know, I, I, I have zero complaints. Whether it would have been 10,000 less or 20,000 less than what he got, I would have been just as happy. So how was the process? Summarize the last few weeks for us, like the level of uncertainty, the unknowns, the possibilities. How was it watching everything unfold? Uh, actually, it wasn't as stressful as it was a year prior. Um, I think because I knew I had put the work in. I mean, I had nervous energy, but it was because I knew that there was new things awaiting, whether it be a new team or a new contract. But, you know, um, I was comfortable with knowing that I had already put all the work in. So you haven't been in San Francisco for even a full year yet, but clearly last year had an impact on you. So what was it about this past season? Or maybe it's this team that made the 49ers and returning to San Francisco a top option for you? Uh, it's the locker room. Honestly, it's the locker room. It's the... The people that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, from my teammates, my peers, to, the, to our coaches, to, you know, Cheese and, 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 and Tess, and everybody's helping us out over here. I mean, like, I just wasn't used to that family atmosphere that, that we had here. And it made it, it made it extremely hard to leave this place because I didn't, I didn't know that I could get that same vibe somewhere else. And me have been knowing Cal, you know, essentially my whole professional career, um, you know, obviously I was way a lot more comfortable with him than a lot of than a lot of coaches in this league. So it was just a combination of those things where it just made San Francisco just really hard to beat out. Even, you know, it, it wasn't so much the money, uh, you know, it came down to just being the situation. And, you know, I think San Francisco is just hard to beat this situation they got, you know, kind of set up. Well, obviously, looking back at the 2020 season, it didn't end anywhere remotely close to where you or this team expected. But something I remember that you said in a press conference, you said essentially that you would bet on a healthy 49ers team against any other team in the league. Do you still believe that? And if so, why? Oh, yeah, 100, 110 percent, especially like getting guys like DJ Jones back and like D Ford and you know like the red guys who you just kind of knew like the confidence I have in this team is you know and, and it's the the proof is in the pudding last time this a healthy team this healthy team took the field you know they were playing in the Super Bowl uh so I feel like obviously I'm an asset to that and hopefully you know I, I can improve the chances of getting back but I feel like we have a healthy roster I honestly just don't see a lot of people who could even beating us or even competing with us. So yeah, I'm 100% I'm confident in it. I like the confidence, but I want to talk really briefly about recruiting. So after you announced that you were forever faithful on Instagram, you posted a photo of yourself, Mike McGlinchey, and then you tagged Alex Mack with the emoji eyes. What was going on there at that time? You know, I was just trying to lock it in. I knew he was getting close and I just want to let him know that, hey, <laughs> hey, we, 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 we want you back, you know, we, we we, we know, I, I've always known what type of player Alex was and I always uh, admired him from afar, played in a few Pro Bowls with him, got to know him as a really good guy, very, very good teammate, you know, never hear anything bad about him. So when Kyle told me that there's a possibility, I'm like, let me go put my two cents in, man, you know, cause I know him, having him could, could change a lot of things for us. So looking at this O-line, what do you like about this group? You you add Alex Mack, you got Lakin Thomas and Mike McGlinchey, Daniel Brunskill, young guys like Colton McKivitz, Justin School. What stands out about this group? Um, I think the versatility. 
the, the, the ability to be able to go power ball, the ability to be able to go uh, zone scheme, the ability to be able to get out on the screen, the ability to be able to pass protect. Um, you you kind of see it in every position. I think with that five that we have takes the field every every week. I think we're, we're going to go down as one of the top groups in the league, and I think that's that that should be our goal. We shouldn't aim for anything less, and I think we're very much so capable in doing so. Trent, love what you're saying. Loving the confidence. Uh, appreciate the time, and don't spend it all in one place, okay? <laughs> I got you. <laughs>